So I want to do a little food recap here. Been vegan for, mm, let's see, not even quite one full week yet. Shortly after college, I did a whole food plant-based diet for a month or so. And that whole month, I felt fantastic. Every time I ate, I felt I felt light. I didn't feel overly full by any means. Um, usually when I eat, especially red meat, I've noticed, it feels like there's a 25 pound dumbbell in the pit of my stomach and I just feel weighed down, I feel sluggish, I feel like I need to take a nap after every meal. When I eat the vegan diet, I don't feel that way. I feel fairly hungry throughout the day. Um, and again, if you reference, I believe it was my fourth video where I talked about this, that is more so me being hungry and wanting and desiring the convenience and the accessibility of food. If I were more used to the vegan diet and I had all these vegan snacks and whatever at my fingertips, probably wouldn't be a huge deal. But because I don't and my cupboards are still full of my non-vegan foods, I'm hungry and all the stuff in front of me I can't have, which only makes me more hungry. Uh, so to combat that, here at the office, I, I've loaded myself up on snacks for this. I mean, just like a, a tangerine or whatever. I got this, just almonds and some dried, there they go, fruit and nut mix, some raisins, craisins, dried cherries, dried mangoes, things like that. Pretty brown banana, that needs to be eaten. I love black licorice. This was given to me by a student for Christmas. They're vegan. So uh, I'm very excited to dip into those. The, the fruit and nuts are actually pretty filling and I can easily snack on them throughout the day and not feel, not feel gross like, like I would with chips or something like that. Of course, I'm pushing the water. So again, I'm feeling pretty good. <clears throat> I've noticed a trend that uh, an hour or so, maybe a couple hours after I eat my lunchtime meal, I typically crash. Like all the energy of my body is now working to digest the food I just ate, typically uh, before this week, it's been non-vegan. And I've always just hit this wall in the afternoon, like I need a, a second cup of coffee or um, just some sort of pick me up. And that's again, when I turn to like sugary cookies and junk food that happen to be laying around here in the break room. And this week and hopefully this month, I'm breaking that habit. When I was, the first time I did the plant-based diet, I, that was one of the first things I noticed that I didn't hit this wall come two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, especially at work. I would have snacks like, like bananas or almonds and raisins, things like that, that were not necessarily super filling, but like very nutrient dense where, where it keep me going, give me energy. So I never felt a crash. That is the biggest pro in my opinion of, of a plant-based diet or a vegan diet would be sustained energy, not feeling super heavy, not s feeling super weighed down uh, shortly after meals. There was a, one of the, it's like, it's an anime thing, one of the characters, whatever, was like, <laughs> like made a weird like laugh noise. And Eddie was like, that's me, cause I annoy people. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> want a kid to neck on? Uh, hey guys, so my two just gave me a carrot to snack on. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I just got my nails painted by myself. So we have some tomato soup for dinner tonight with some tomato sauce and beans in there for some protein, stuff like that, topped with some pine nuts. And then we have a salad on the side. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna have some crackers. What's been your favorite meal to prepare thus far? Uh, I think my favorite so far was the vegan jambalaya, just cause it was so, not so different, like it was so exotic, but it was just different out of the ordinary than we usually eat. And I like that. I like a, a challenge and some, something different to eat in the week. How, how has it been preparing these meals? Dude, honestly, we eat a lot of vegan dinner. We ate a lot of vegan dinners before January, so it wasn't that out of the ordinary or it wasn't that crazy of, of a change or anything like that. 
I think the biggest thing is Eric is now eating fully vegan for dinner. Um, so I have to just, uh, where I would normally make tofu for myself and chicken for him, I'm making all the same thing. So that's really the only difference, but. So for you, it's gotten even easier? Yeah. What would you tell someone who's thinking about making the switch to a plant-based diet? Do it. That's your advice? I would say, no, I would say if you are starting fully, in, you eat all meat, every, you know, you don't have any dietary restrictions, start with just cutting out one thing. Start with cutting out red meat. And then if, as you go along, if that's easier and if it's still something you want to do, start cutting out more dairy. And then, so it's progressive and not just one day cold turkey because that's not sustainable. That's not going to be something really that you are going to be able to do long term. And you're probably going to be missing out on a lot of key ingredients and nutrients and stuff that you need. So if it's more of a progressive thing, you're more aware of how to get your protein from plant-based things, how to get your fiber and all those kind of things. And it's easier to sustain. One thing I should add is I've been doing almond milk for like a full six years at this point, if not more than that. And I, ever since we've been married for the last three and a half years, uh, we've, we've really cut out red meat almost entirely. We might eat it when we go out places or something like that, but we definitely don't ever buy red meat. Really the only meat we eat would be chicken and seafood. Uh, seafood is more of a special occasion. So for me to go full plant-based uh, has been a pretty easy transition, especially because my spouse is, has already been doing it. And again, she's so on board and she's been so supportive through it all. So do you have, or do you feel like you eat way more on a plant-based diet? Honestly, I've been following plant-based diet for quite a long time. So I don't even know what to compare it to if I would eat more or less on a regular diet with meat and everything. But now I feel like I definitely eat enough food. I know what foods to eat and how much to eat that I'm going to be full. When I first became vegan years and years ago, and I just went fully vegan and I didn't really know what that entailed, I was definitely not getting enough food and I felt like constantly hungry. But now that I know how to eat and how to meet my calorie needs, I don't, I don't really have a problem. What would you rate vegan brownies and desserts compared to normal well, desserts? It it depends. You could have a really, really bad vegan brownie, but you can also have a really good vegan brownie and not even notice that it's vegan. So it just depends. You want to show us the brownies you made? Sure. Do you like these? I thought they were pretty good. I don't think that they're super like rich chocolatey They're not tasting. super sweet, which is crazy because I put a cup of sugar in these. No way. Uh-huh. Yo, that sounds gross. I mean, it's for a whole, that's not out of the ordinary for. That's for a whole pan. That's what, half the pan remaining? Yeah, there's not that many left, but. Okay. That still sounds like a lot though. 